Well, trading is closed on November 10th, 2021. Here's our disclaimer. Remember, I can be completely wrong and all trades should be at your own risk. Look for the pattern with the early high. This is it. So it tends to be a rally day. Failure is a straight line drop. We got failure. That's the straight line drop. I was concerned if I was looking for a, a top from last week that uh, we didn't take out these lows. But I said if we kept under them, all would be right with the world. And that's what we did. The other call was that we had mixed signals and the commonest thing was a gap. Prompt move outside yesterday's range and we got that. Here's what we said. Gap, prompt move outside the range. We said the argument for a temporary top is still valid. Might not be too severe. Higher prices before year end. Still don't think it'll be too severe. I'm a bit less confident about higher prices before year end. During the day, got an ultimate sell signal that clearly worked. BJT says it's false, gives us a target, 46, 65, 65. It's not so out of reach, but remember that near major changes in trend and in times of impulsive moves, failures are more common. Be nice if it printed, but if it fails, it fails. It's now been more than three days since the demarked sell signal. If you're going to get a collapse, you really want to undercut this TDST line within three trading days. That's 44.41.67. We're nowhere near it. So if he's right about this with his rules, even though I don't think the drops over, I don't think we collapse. We, uh, we went over a number of toppy signs as we were going up. We had the Lindsay low, the low high pattern, the DeMarc cells, one of my favorite indicators, the NASDAQ McClellan oscillator gave a bull and Japan reversal signal right at the top. Elliott wave is in balance. And the week before we topped the money in the right X bear funds had a precipitous drop. Should have more of a decline than we've seen with all this stuff. That doesn't mean we have to drop tomorrow. Well, here's how we're calling this. If it's right, and this is the end of AB of the C, which I'm not convinced of, we should have a wave blue A, blue C. This would be the end of blue B should have a wave um, blue C comparable to blue A, which is a straight line drop. Till today, we hadn't seen anything resembling an impulsive move down like this. And because we had to wait so long, I'm not really convinced we're at the end of blue B. But we'll have to wait to see. Let's look at this last leg. Right now, we have a Fibonacci correction, but it's only 23.6. That isn't really enough. It is possible to count this as A, B, C, with C equal to, with C equal to twice A. So it's possible we get a recovery from here. We also have the volatility index over its upper Bollinger Band. It hasn't reversed through it yet, but if it does, it gives a buy signal. Um, I really am expecting more of a drop than we've seen. Doesn't mean we have to drop tomorrow. And I'd be a bit leery of any buy signals this soon to what could be a major top here. It's a very tradable top. 
we do have the higher target. But don't forget when you have this pattern weak, when it should be strong, it tends to lead to more weakness in the days ahead. So even if we do have a recovery tomorrow, which I can't rule out, more weakness should be coming. Brown's pattern has a really low, doesn't mean you can't gap up. It's a higher target. Unless we drop sharply, the rules call for it to print. Just remember, failures are more likely to occur in near extremes than during impulsive moves. Today's normally bullish pattern had a straight line drop. It should lead to further declines in the near future. It's possible we trade both higher and lower tomorrow. Nothing rules it out. Today's action was the kind of impulsive move down that expected but not seen. The major high were in place. Calendar and the wave count call for recovery at some point, but there should be lower prices first. If we get the normal FOMC whipsaw, then once the announcement price breaks convincingly, it's 46.2421. Once that happens, we should drop lower than 45.2992. Personally, I think we have a bit lower than that, but don't have to risk money on that now. Expect to see higher prices before the year is out. Time is not guaranteed. And because we don't have a lot of year left, it would help if we had a panic sell-off first to get the lower prices out of the way. But just because it would help doesn't mean it's going to happen. So tomorrow has really low. There's a higher target. We still have some outstanding lower targets, too many in my book. They have to print it sometime. They're highly favored to print it sometime. We have a number of things saying we're going to have a significant drop from the all-time high, but I think eventually we're going to recover. So tomorrow has the early low. And that's today's call.